welcome back. My name is Ryan Zeck. I'm with Trimec out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm an applications engineer for SolidWorks. Uh, today I want to talk about weldments. Weldments gets a misnomer a little bit. From time to time, people think that you have to weld something in order to use weldments. Not the case. In fact, you can use weldments to create a doghouse with 2x4s. Feel free to email me if you want to have a, a 2x4 weldment profile. I can send that to you. If uh, you want to create weldments, there, and, and I'm going to skip over how to create this today, but there is a great tutorial. You can find that under Help, SolidWorks Tutorials. Take a look at the weldment tutorial, and it'll get you started with weldments. What I want to focus on today is how to create a relative view of an individual body inside the weldment. So take, for example, right now we've got, we've got two um, different length bodies. So there's four bodies overall, but two of them um, match the other two. So, so there's really only two different, two different lengths. And you can see that here in our cut list. If we take a look, maybe we want to make a change to one side. Let's go ahead and create a view, uh, a drawing of this to begin with, though. So we'll go ahead and file, make drawing from part. We'll go ahead and choose our A size. We'll drop that in there. Maybe we'll or use the trimetric view. I like that because it's almost trimec. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and create that drawing view. We'll go ahead and put in a weldment cut list, which is specific to our weldments. We'll go ahead and put that in and place that right there. Uh, description, our length comes in automatic based off of our uh, custom profiles. Uh, and what we want to do now is, is go ahead and auto balloon this. So we'll go ahead and put those on. Go ahead and do that. Attach those balloons to the faces. And now what we can do is we're, we'll, we'll go ahead and open this uh, part and we'll make a change to one of our bodies. So why don't we go ahead and change this one down here. I'm just going ahead and create a new sketch. And we'll go ahead and put on a circle there. Maybe we uh, relate that back to our... Um, our midpoint. So we go ahead and add in a relationship there. And then we'll go ahead and add in a diameter, make that two inches, and go ahead and give it a distance from our origin over this way. Maybe we do that four inches. We'll go ahead and make that a cut. Remove some material there. We'll go ahead and do this as up to next. We'll right click to confirm. And now we should have, and you can see here in our cut list, before we even go back to the drawing, we have, now we have three different types of um, bodies. So let's go back to our weldment cut list here, and you can see it's been updated. In fact, now we're, we're missing one balloon here, so we'll go ahead and add that back in. And we'll go ahead and add that. Looks good. But now what we want to do is maybe create a relative view of this particular body. And it's relatively straightforward, pun intended. So in order to do that, what we have to do is go ahead and start by creating a relative view. And in order to do that, I actually customized my toolbar here. What we can do is find that also under Insert, Drawing View, Relative to Model. When we do that, it asks us which one of our views do we want to do a relative view of, and I'm going to choose this one, brings us back to the, the weldment, and we just want to select, um, instead of do an entire part, we want to do selected bodies, and then we can go ahead and choose that we want this to be our front view, and this maybe uh, to be our right view, and we can go ahead and confirm those selections, and as soon as we confirm those selections, it brings us back to the drawing, and we can go ahead and place that relative view. And in fact, if we wanted to create a projected view, we can do that as well. Same thing for going to the right side view. And now maybe we want to go ahead and put some uh, dimensions that we put on there. Maybe we can relate those in here. Go ahead and get that the way we want. Now, you have a relative view of an individual body from our weldment. Hopefully that was helpful for you, and until next time, happy designing.